The Greenwich Historical Society was founded 80 years ago as a resource to preserve and share the history of Greenwich. But today, it has expanded to become a museum and an archive of Greenwich history, located on a National Historic Landmark site, the Bush Holly House. Oh my goodness, this property is a real gem for the town of Greenwich. It's extremely important in introducing children to a sense of history and of history as it was lived. Among the art exhibitions we've held in the little storehouse gallery next door to the Bush Holly House are the Lost Landscape of Koskab, Child Hassam, Impressions of Koskab, John Twachtman, a painter's painter, Henry Fitch Taylor, the surprising modernist of Koskab, and more recently, um, In a Good Light, the artist studio in Koskab and beyond. I think the Historical Society really preserves a sense of place here in Greenwich, and it helps people appreciate all of the beautiful art and architecture that's around us. Well, I think history of the town is important, but it's, a, it's also the history of the United States, the history of the world. It's, it's, it's a part of a, of a larger history, uh, and what went on in Greenwich was a uh, was particular importance to American art, to the whole uh, evolution of American society. I would say the greatest value that it brings to our town is the preservation of the social and cultural history of the town of Greenwich. You can go to Town Hall and get vital statistics. You can learn about the probate records. You can learn about deeds. But those deeds aren't going to tell you the story of the town. You have to come to the archives and you have to open up an 18th century piece of paper and look at it and realize there's a story. I think the three most popular programs at the Greenwich Historical Society are education programs for students and teachers, uh, the tours of Bush Holly House, which attract visitors from all over the world, and our Greenwich Landmarks Recognition Program. In those ways, we serve our community and the broader region. I think there's something for everyone at the Historical Society. There's beautiful uh, designer events for adults, the house tour, the antique preview party. Antiquarius and the Greenwich House Tour are fun, glamorous, festive, inspiring, a great way to start the holidays. The Greenwich Historical Society's archives are widely used by preservationists in our community and uh, community organizations. We document their history. They often come when they're looking to do their anniversary or they have questions about the historic building or they're looking to preserve an important historic resource. In our speaker series, we've had Bunny Williams, Jeffrey Bill Huber, Mary McDonald, Alexa Hampton, Miles Red. Historical societies, uh, education programs reach all kinds of schools, the public schools, the private schools, both in Greenwich and in a wider region. I think it's fun to come here because like, you get to learn a lot of history. The, the Greenwich Historical Society is um, invaluable, I think. Here they're learning it outside of school and they're learning, um, actually seeing where people lived, how their lives were led, what, what they did. The Greenwich Historical Society is a great resource for children and adults to learn about our history and where we've come from. The Historical Society runs a summer camp in which it has a history week and an art week and it's really a wonderful way for families that want to involve their children to both have fun and learn and be in a cultural environment. I think people should be a part of the Historical Society because they want to preserve the beautiful things in this community. As a nonprofit uh, organization that's privately funded, we rely entirely on private donations. And so the success of reaching our donor base, our membership actually, is what drives the success of the organization because if we're doing a good job, then we can offer more and more services and we receive the benefits and they receive the benefits as well. It's all inclusive.